This is right. It can't get no righter. Let's go. It's another K Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. Brand new video. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Today, I got the mid-fade for y'all. Yeah, I got it on straight hair today. I want to do something different. So, I came through with drip today. You know what I'm saying? I came through with something different today. I used the razor. I used the shaver. You know, couple things people been asking me to use like man do you use the do you use the razor you know do you do this do you do that well, hey i answered a couple questions today i answered a couple questions for y'all today you know what i mean so that's what we doing today so first things first you gotta make your guideline you know that right so i got the guideline coming in and when you're making the guideline you kind of you want to make sure that is as even as possible. It's got to be even. You know what I mean? It's got to be even. You know what I'm saying? So, and after that, I made my guideline. I think I used my babbles right there. I made my guideline with my babbles coming up, cleaning them up with my Slimline Pros. Yes, I have like every clipper in the book. I like to try them out because I like to invest in my craft. And you never know what's going to work well for you, what's going to feel good in your hand, because that's what it's all about, what feels good in your hand. You know, it's got to it's gotta feel right, you know what I mean? And if it don't feel right, then, you know, you go on to the next tool and things like that. So, I'm using my Slimline Pros, and I got them modified. I got the GTX blade on top of it. So yeah, I use that instead of the, the blade that it came with. Now I'm trying to get it as close as possible here. So when I use my shaver, I don't have that much work to do. So right here, I'm using the Andy shaver. Yeah, I got the five star wall shavers. I got the Babless gold shavers. I mean, like I say, use whatever works for you. And sometimes on the video, I just use whatever I pick up. I mean, you know what I mean? So. Uh, I know how to use all my tools, so I use these. I like these. The foil seems to last a long time on these. I haven't changed it, and I had it for over a year now. So that's good for me. Now, once you get to the top and you get everything you want to do, I'm using a three guard right here. And I'm just knocking some of it down, knocking the bulk down to the desired length. His hair is kind of wavy. It's straight, but wavy, but... Man, his hair do a lot of different things. I this is this is this is gonna take me some time. So this video is a little longer than a lot of my other videos because with straight hair, you know, it's tedious. For me, I, I believe it's tedious. Some people be like, hey, I'd rather cut straight hair all day. To me, it's a little tedious to get the fade the way that I like to get the fade. So for me, I have to do a lot of detail work, you know, so because the hair grows so many different ways. So, and you can just follow the hair pattern on top because it's so thick. I do have a guard, I do have it open. I use the three guard open. Now here, I got my one guard. I'm making my second guideline. So I'm just going against the grain of the hair. If it's coming straight down, I'm just going straight up. If it's coming straight down at an angle, I'm going straight up at a, at the opposite angle. You understand what I'm saying? So just make sure you stay consistent with the steps that you do, especially from one side to the other. A lot of times when I'm not on video, I would have took that line right there and went all the way around the head. But for video purposes, I do one side at a time. After that, I take my two guard and everything I do is open the close. I take my two guard and I want to make another guideline. So I go up on it and I go open the close. Like I said, everything I do is open the close because you don't want to just jump in straight with, with it closed. So open the close, work our way down until it's closed. After it's closed, 
I might want to clean up that line. So I probably came back with the one and a half, I'm sure. I come back, I got the one and a half guard that's between the one and in between the two to try to further get rid of the guide line that's in between the two. So this is open again, one and a half open. We do one and a half open to close. Now, after I do that, I come back with the four because we have a three on top and I like to play it safe on straight hair sometimes, on any hair really. Sometimes I might use a bigger guard just to see what it's gonna do. So since I put the three on top, I wanted to hit it with the four, a bigger guard on the side just to see how the hair was gonna lay. And it, it came out just right. Now after that, I switched to the three guard. And the three guard, now I'm working my way down. I had the four guard open. I worked it down a little bit. Now I got the three guard open going back over some of the spots where the four left off at. You see that? So I'm just gradually working my way down. This is what you want to do. Like I said, the approach you want to take has to be a safe approach because you never know how the hair is going to fall off with straight hair because once it's off, it's off. Now, after that, I come back. I got the two guard again, and I'm cleaning it up. Now, it might seem like a lot of steps. Like I say, for me, the way I fade, it probably would take me a little bit more steps than the normal person because to me, his hair, if you look at it closely, his hair grows a lot of different ways. So it takes a lot of steps. Now, after that, after the two, I come back. I got the one because I want to knock out this bottom line because it's bothering me. So now I want to get rid of this, this bottom line, this first guideline, and I want to try to work it in. You know, so in, in the line that's also in between where I made the one and the two. You just, so at this point, once you get your guidelines down and once you get all the bulk down to where you want it, then you come back and you clean it up as much as possible. You want to try to, you know, just detail from here. It's just straight detail and it's like, oh, pick your spots and attack them. You know what I mean? Pick your spots, attack them, go at them. It doesn't take a lot of pressure for this hair to fall off. You don't have to dig too much. That's what I learned about it. It's, it's kind of, you have to finesse it. You can't go at it aggressively. So once you finesse it, it's good. You know what I mean? So I'm cleaning up that bottom line. And sometimes I have to go back and look at it, step back and look at it. Oh, I might need to hit this spot. I might need to come back with the guard and do that. And that's what I did here, I'm sure, if I remember correctly. So um, I cleaned up that bottom line. I'm using the wall magic clip right here, the black and gold edition. They work just like the regular wall clippers, uh, wall magic clip. I just changed the blade. I put the babless blade on it. The reason why I put the babless blade on it, because it's a fade blade and also it's gold. So it makes the clipper look cool. That's about it. It's, you know, so I kind of like fade blades over like, uh, I call them surgical blades, but it's another name for them. I forgot what they got, call it, shaping blade or whatever it is. But I like fade blades. So anyway, you see, I had to come back with my one guard, clean up a dark spot until I get it right, until the fade look right to me. So now remember, it doesn't matter how long it takes you. You don't have to be the fastest person. You just want to make sure you get that blend to your eye where it looks blended. And you know, you make sure you use the corner of the blade sometimes because a lot of times it's hard to, you can make another line easily, another guideline if you go at it wrong. So a lot of times I go in from the corners and just flick it out, flick pieces out. You see, I'm only really going to certain parts of the hair. I'm not really trying to go all over the head. I'm just on that area. You see this area, I'm on those lines that I think need to be taken out. You see that? So I'm, I'm getting it out. Now, it, to me, from, from this, me looking at it right now, it looks like the fade is starting to come together now. You see it? Seems like I got the line out. Seems like, okay, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm almost cool with what I got. You see it? So always use your mirror. Always comb the hair. 
while you fading so it can move the hair out the way that needs to be out the way. Got a little clip over comb work right here just to make it blend a little better. Here I'm still using the edge of the clipper with the guard on. You see the fade, it's coming out. You're good. On to the other side. Now this side, I'm not gonna explain it. I'm just gonna show it to you. And it's the same steps. One guard to two guards to one and a half to the, to the four to the three. And you know, on, uh, on to the next thing. You know what I mean? So we do the same thing on both sides. another K-Town beat. Now the back is the same. It's a little tricky in the back because a lot of times that you have a swirl or call it or whatever they call it, wherever you from, I call it a swirl. If you see his hair, it goes round and back up. It goes down around and up. So you just make sure you're going against the flow pattern of the hair. It's kind of blurry right here, but in about a few seconds, it'll pop back into where it's clear. But you just want to use those same steps that you've been using on the side to do the same thing. So this is a diligent process. You don't have to rush it, take your time with it. Because like I said, on straight hair, if you mess it up, it's really not no going back. If you go up too high, it really ain't no going back. So if you go too low, you know, that's it. So take your time with it and go. So um, I'm gonna just let y'all watch what I'm doing here. And then when we get to the edge up, I'll jump back in and explain that. Now, as far as the edge will go, you know I always spray it, put holding spray, I already did it. Uh, then you wanna calm it down, just make sure the hair is in place. Visualize the edge up, look at it. Make sure you know which direction you wanna go with it. See if one side is higher than the other, too low or whatever. So me, I like to start from the middle. A lot of times I start from the middle, sometimes I start from the side. It just depends on whatever mood I'm in. But if you just starting, you wanna make sure you 
absolutely start from the middle and work your way over left to right or right to left whichever one works for you um and just take your time with it tap it go that's what i do i, I cut it i tap it and you know the corners of the blade are your friend all the time on the fading on the, the lineup all of that so you, you got to get that down too and you want to make everything as sharp as possible but you don't have to focus on being so sharp in the beginning sometimes you just want to get the line there implement it so you can come back and detail the heck out of it you know what i mean a lot of times i spend the most time on the lineup because to me that's where um the haircut stands out so and my name is mr outliner so i gotta make sure the outline is outlined you know what i mean i gotta make sure the outline is outlined you know what i mean because if 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 i miss the outliner and i don't make the line look good then i need to change the name right I need to be something like uh i don't know something crazy like mr no line you know what i mean something like that but we ain't gotta worry about that but anyway so Take your time with it. Kind of cut some of the hair that's coming off the edges. You want to stay right on his natural hairline. That's what I did. I'm not really doing anything extra to it. You see what I'm doing right here? Taking my time. I work from bottom to top, top to bottom, and connect the two. You see, there's, there's no enhancements on this. This is just straight lineup work. No enhancements. You know what I mean? So. It's coming out good so far. I like the way that it's looking. Cleaning them up. I got that beard game for y'all today too. You know what I mean? I'm gonna fade that out, blend that into into his haircut. Now on the other side, he kind of look like Clay Thompson a little bit. But uh, on this other side, we do the same thing. We take our time with it. Do the same thing. Start from the middle. Work our way over. And you see where I'm holding my hand on the top of his head? You want to hold your hand further back towards the crown of his head because if you hold it too far close to the edge, it'll push his head down, his lineup down, and it'll make you think that that's where the lineup goes. And then once you remove your hand, then everything moves back up in place where it's really supposed to be. So you'll kind of overwork yourself. So you kind of just want to be mindful of that and you see right here i'm hitting this natural lineup i'm not doing nothing i'm not trying to make it into something that is not but i will take my time and go over it and right here same thing i go from bottom to top top to bottom just clean it up take your time with the lineup yeah and then next you know i got the beard i'm gonna do the beard i'm gonna hit them with the razor show y'all the complete package today you know what i mean they've been asking for the package so i got the package for me you know what i'm saying the, the mr outliner package you know what i mean i got that so anyway so now i'm hitting the curve it's coming around it's coming cool a lot of times people struggle with the curve the curve i struggled with it for a while myself you know what i mean but i i noticed that you have to take your time with it and you really have to use the corners of the blade and really how that wrist work you gotta have your wrist game boy you gotta do a lot of practicing with that wrist that, that c cup you know what i mean you gotta get that right so um yeah just take your time with that too so somebody asked me did i still have the the gold skeletons you see them in the in the video right here i still have them so i like them and i and i made a video about the rose golds versus the golds I like them both the same. The only difference is, for me, it's less work involved with the gold skeleton trimmers to set the blade. That's the only difference. The power is the same, you know, and everything. So I, I just, I prefer the gold ones for that reason, but I still got my rose gold ones. Those are my babies, you know what I mean? But right here, I take a big guard and I come up, I clean it. He kind of, he wanted it kind of low, so I might just, I, I got the one guard on right here, and I'm just cleaning it up, and I took my guard off. Now I'm going to fade it into, into the fade. Linda, you see it's coming along nice. 
to get him. He kind of got that, that that Clay Thompson, Justin Timberlake. I, I don't know. He got a bunch of he got a bunch of dudes. He looked like right here. You know what I mean? Leave in the comments who he looked like. Justin Timberlake or Clay Thompson or somebody else. I ain't thinking of, but leave that in the comments. And you know, also leave any kind of comments you want to leave. Tell me, you know, I take constructive criticism. Well, if you got some, I'll take that too. You sit now for the for the razor work. We just hit it and bring it down to a to a level where we want it to be. You see that real easy, real simple, easy, clean, and that's what it is. I kind of blocked my own view right here of, of me doing the lineup, but I was trying to get it where the where the camera can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, you just want to glide it in. The razor has to be at an angle. It's not like a kind of like a 45, maybe like a 35 degree angle, but it has to be tilted. You can't just go straight straight into it, like straight down or angle it too much. You just want to tilt it just a little bit, and you want to be light handed with it. You got to be light handed with it. See it now, it's, everything popping. I got, I got the boy look good, man. The boy looking good, man. If I say so myself, the boy looking looking righteous, man. He looking righteous. Look at that. Well, cleaner than a newborn baby. I'm telling you. Man. But anyway, we come back. We jump. We do the same thing on this side. You know what I mean? So we clean them up. Knock the beard down. Come up into the fade. Got the one and a half. Come back with the one, clean that up, fade it in, use use the razor again, and we on to the next thing. another K-Town beat.
yeah so after that if you see anything this is the part where you you look at everything you see his hair hanging over right there on the right side i'm coming in and clean that up a little bit um you know you want to do your detail work now if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram it's mr outliner the same as my youtube channel you can see when i'm about to upload you can see when i cut some of your favorite celebrities uh things like that just see what's going on with me uh, and also don't forget like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend you know how we do it check out some of my other videos if you need to if you need to holler at me hit me on the inbox on my gmail i got you if you're gonna collab you're gonna do some business we can do that you know what i'm saying but until next time love peace and hair grease i'm out